Hello everybody, hey it's Rob at Old Style Classics Baseball Cards, September 2nd, 2024, 2 a.m. California time, on this special episode of Old Style Classics Baseball Cards. It is once again Minor League Monday, so we're going to do some Minor League Baseball Cards today. Um, the earlier episode I did of Minor League slash Amateur College Monday, I did the one... Um, <clears throat> set of New Mexico Lobo football cards that I actually had from the 2002 team. Um, so that's probably more interest to just regular Lobo fans out there in the world. Um, so there you go, you get a quick look at those and my voice is pretty shot today people. Um, we went and ate at the New England Lobster Shack or something up in Burlingame. And it was really good. It had lobster and shrimp, but this um, like lobster bisque corn soup that they have is so good. But I ate too much, and I got myself all bloated, and <clears throat> so I'm all coughing up and everything like that. So sorry about my voice, people. Please increase the speed of the video on your settings if you want me to sound normal. Sound um, 1.25 or 1.5, and then we'll um, get to it. Uh, if you can't, um, please hit like, subscribe if you haven't yet, or send people my way who would like this stuff, uh, you know, my old style cards and all that. You know, I was just digging through another box and found some more Gypsy Queens people, so I did find some more inserts and uh, like one more green card, so I'll have to show those. Uh, shout out to Ina and Valdemir that we went to dinner with tonight. Um, they're from the Ukraine. And they just told us tonight that they applied for naturalization. So after being here for um, legally for X number of years, I don't know, it's been about 10 years, I would say. And um, they filed for um, citizenship. So good luck to them. Hope they get it. Great couple, great people. And um, got the um, MLB, whatever free channels out there right now. On the Samsung channels and uh, they're playing the September 21st 2001 Mets versus Atlanta game um, I guess it was the first one after 9-11 for the Mets and I think it's a Piazza um, yep delivers emotional home run so that's cool got that playing in the background so <clears throat> all right people let's get to it so I have this set so apparently I must have um, bought these because it's got a price tag on it. 2013 Albuquerque Isotopes. So I probably didn't get to make it to the baseball card game. But they sell them in the pro shop afterwards. And it looks like there were 10 bucks, Unless they were in the bargain bin the next year or something like that. But we're getting near the end of the Isotopes cards, folks. So I might have one or two more sets then I got some other minor league teams like Sacramento some San Jose Giants stuff to show you and then oh yeah I do I do have some of them the big isotopes cards when they would um you know have a player up on the stands I mean up in the concourse signing those and then some PCL all-star game stuff and then I think as far as minor league baseball cards go after that, it's more the sets that like tops sold and stuff like that. So but, um, we'll probably get through that stuff coming near the end of baseball season. So, all right, everybody. So let's get to it. And uh, 2013 Albuquerque Isotopes. And these are done by, let's see who's doing it this time. Brand. So let's look at this brand here. This Brandt, B R A N D T Sports Marketing, 2013. Brandt Sports Marketing, blah blah blah, minor league baseball and all that. Okay, so they moved on from media ads or whatever that was. So we're gonna start off with the manager Lorenzo Bundy. Don't remember him. <clears throat> and I would have remembered him if I remembered that name because of old Bundy 
Love Married with Children. So this is obviously here the isotopes were once again the Dodgers farm team. So the Dodgers and Albuquerque were back together at this point. So they had finally got away from uh, Florida and were with the Dodgers for a couple years again because the old Albuquerque Dukes used to be the Dodgers farm team. <clears throat> and uh, But then Dodgers bought Oklahoma City's team and made them the uh, Oklahoma City Dodgers or something like that. I never like that when a team does that. I like the Iowa Cubs. Just just call them something else. You know, let them come up with some name like the Isotopes or like the Chihuahuas or whatever down in El Paso. You know, and why, why do you got to call it the Dodgers or the Cubs or the Yankees and all that? You know, maybe that would help like a single A or double A team, but... That's one of the charms about AAA, in my opinion, is um, having something unique to the city that they're from and not just kind of trying to mimic their their parent team or whatever. That's my opinion and my rant for the moment, unless I come up with something else to rant about. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to get this little box ready for these cards so I can put them aside. All right, everybody. Sorry about that. Let's get to it. Glenn Dishman, pitching coach. There's a beautiful uniform right there. I have one just like that. It just doesn't have the number on it like he's got. But it's got that patch on the side. And the, the one my wife has doesn't have that. So she's always kind of mad about that. She likes the patch. And that's just a beautiful logo. They, they really knocked it out of the park, you might say, pun intended. So 30 cart, 36 card set, number two of 36. All right, last time Tim Wallach was the manager. Hey, look at that, hitting coach Franklin Stubbs. There you go, major league, former major league star Franklin Stubbs. So that's cool, kind of a stadium club kind of thing going on in this year set so you can read about old Franklin Stubbs there yeah it looks like he um, spent three years with the Dukes so 83 through 85 was with Albuquerque on the Dukes so obviously Dodger look at this uh, Possum po Possum Nakajima so let's see what it has to say about him. Oh, he's a trainer. So let's see, where is he from? Long Beach State. Travis Smith. So they're doing things a little different this year. There's old, uh, right here. Let me get my, my super special pointer out here for you. On the very first game of the seat, very first game in 2003, the opening game, and me and my friends sat in these four seats right there at the very top along the aisle there. So the last row, those four seats were the ones that we sat at because the other ones that I had, kind of over near where he's standing, was worth a lot more to sell than it was to uh, actually go sit there. I didn't care. I just wanted to be in there. So that's my story, and I showed you that in my first Isotopes card, Minor League Monday, if you want to go back and check that out. So Travis Smith, and then old Orbit. So I just did those football cards because college football season just started for us for two weeks now, but for everyone else was this week. So I um, did that along with the start of college football now we got baseball going to be coming to an end before you know it folks um all right first player Gison Agashiviva all right don't know how to say that so then what will end up happening is as call once I um get through these baseball ones on minor league Monday then old hockey and basketball season should be starting up and then i have a bunch of those um 
minor league college cards to show you guys. So hopefully right up until around Thanksgiving or Christmas time, maybe. Um, yeah, because I'm going to be pretty busy in September and November. Uh, definitely November is going to be tough. Uh, because I got a lot of overtime to be doing. And uh, where's this guy from? Dominican Republic. So hopefully my old minor league stuff will go along with the different seasons for the different sports. And um, maybe it'll take me up into December. And um, that'll probably do it. Steve Amos, except for the stuff like Heritage prospects or you know those kind of things or minor league sets and stuff like that i guess i could do my usa baseball from panini as well uh, if i want to continue doing minor league monday steve ames from vancouver washington all right matt angle columbus ohio Brian Barden, dig his hat, San Diego, still looking for another Piedmont back people, alright, I think they wore those um, uniforms like that on Sundays, because now they're a Rockies farm team, they do that, they have the purple isotopes now that look kind of like the Rockies, Chili Bus, that's an interesting name, Warren, Michigan, Alex Castellanos, there you go. Looks to be an alternate. Oh, maybe, no, maybe that is a road uniform. Not familiar with it, what's going on in the background there, that blue. Um, card 12 of 36. Hey, and if, you're, um, if your team is, you know, let's say um, the Memphis Redbirds or whatever, you know, one of these teams or something, you, and you got cards like this, you guys should do your own Minor League Monday so that we can see those cards from those other teams or Oklahoma City Dodgers and El Paso Chihuahuas and all the different teams, Sacramento River Cats, Angel Castro. What is that? Pinental, Dominican Republic. The last guy was from Miami, Florida. Hey, wonder if he's uh, neighbors with Andre Dawson. Kelvin De La Cruz. Hey, I just think I've seen one of his cards. I was digging through that box where I found some more of this stuff, like my Gypsy Queens. And um, I think I've seen him in a Bowman. Like, you know, one of those t Bowman Prospects cards or first Bowmans. So, Las Vegas, Dominican Republic, Las Vega, Las Vega, <clears throat> and I hope you guys go check out my recent episodes, there's some super cool stuff, like me pulling that Nolan Ryan autograph, um, Debbie Gibson birthday episode, um, yeah, there was some pretty cool stuff buried in some of those videos that nobody's watching. So, Tim Federitz from Erie, Pennsylvania. I should have showed this one at Halloween. That would have been Erie. All right, Stephen Fife. Oh, boy, people. Dad jokes. You guys can have them. <laughs> I don't have kids, so um, maybe I shouldn't be telling dad jokes. Uh, boy, Boise, Stephen Fife. Here we go. Here's a guy. This guy was, he was just awesome. And then he got busted. D. Gordon. So he definitely made it up to the majors. I don't know what's going on with D. If he's still around or not. But he was there for a hot minute. Well, maybe that was Ice Topes Park. Just some ad in the background, the blue. So maybe that guy was wearing an alternate home jersey. But there you go, D. Gordon. We used to really root for him. Then he got busted for uh, PEDs. 
got traded, I think it was in Florida, and then he went from Florida to somewhere like Toronto or something like that, and then I don't, I don't know what ever happened to him. Um, Javi Guerra. Denton, Texas. So old Javi from Denton, Texas there. Born in 1985. Alright, here we go. Now we've met this guy in San Diego. He was super cool to us. And I didn't even realize he played in Albuquerque. Wow. Tony Gwynn Jr. So we got multiple autographs. Like, let me, So this will give me a chance to tell a story. San Diego, obviously, there. Tony Gwynn's son. Now old um, Tony Gwynn son there Tony Gwynn Jr. well his uncle is Chris Gwynn Tony's brother you know his dad's brother Tony Gwynn his brother Chris, Chris Gwynn was kind of a prospect going up and uh, he played for Albuquerque and the Dukes and then I didn't realize Tony Gwynn Jr. played there or if I did I forgot and um, so anyways me and my wife and her parents went to San Diego. Actually won a trip to Legoland down there. But I scheduled it when the Cubs were going to be in town. So we went to the Cubs game at San Diego. And uh, Tony, now this is like 2016. And um, I think 2016. And he was, um, it was on Fox Sports. And uh, he, was inter he was being interviewed by the guys on the panel before the game for Fox Sports and just when he was getting up to leave we just happened to be walking by and we were like oh who's that and they're like oh that's Tony Gwynn Jr. <laughs> so we were literally right there when he came out from behind the desk and was like hey Tony how you doing oh you're wearing Cubs stuff I should you know and I was like ah eh, well you know <laughs> we're Cubs fans but um could you sign our ticket stubs so he did he signed all of our ticket stubs and even inside the little ticket stub receipt they give you sometimes and I was like oh you don't have to sign all that and he's like no that's cool I'll do it and then I was like hey man uh, I remember your your uncle Chris Gwynn played for the Dukes and he's like oh yeah so he's all telling us a story about him super nice guy uh, really approachable so cool I'm super uh, I don't we must not mentioned the isotopes or something because he didn't say anything about playing there so that's interesting e Elon Elian Herrera from Dominican Republic San Pedro de Marcos so I think that's where Sammy Sosa is from or lives or maybe David Ortiz or one of those guys Blake Johnson so I'll pick it up now, Baton Rouge. You guys can pause that and read that if you're interested. If, if you know any of these people, let me know. Leave a comment. Uh, Aaron Laffley. Laffey. Cumberland, Maryland. All right. Matt McGill. McGill. Gotta love those retro, futuristic, old school looking uniforms. I dig them. Simi Valley, California. Down in the southern part of the state, I think. Jeremy Moore. Don't know California as well as I should have after being here for 10 years. Alright, Shreveport. Oh, Shreveport. One of the teams that the New Mexico Scorpions hockey team used to play. Uh, Peter Moylan, Moylan, from Adadale, Australia, oh, that's cool, an Australian, so that's neat, uh, like I said before, go on YouTube and um, watch some of that professional Australian baseball, they have their own league down there now, folks, if you didn't know, wonder if they have baseball cards, I'd like to get some because I like Cards from all kinds of different leagues and countries and all that. Anthony Ortega. The dark of the night there. He is from 
Miranda, Venezuela. So that's cool. Somebody from another place other than Dominican or Cuba. Surprised we don't see more Mexican um, baseball players. Um, yeah, I wonder what happened. I guess soccer's become so big there that maybe, I mean, I know they still have professional baseball, but you never see, you don't see very many of them coming this way like you used to back in the 80s, like oh Fernando Memphis for Matt Palmer. I wonder if he's related to Jim somehow. Pause that and read if it said anything. Red Patterson, pitcher. Frisco, Texas. So, didn't we see another guy from Frisco? All right. So, let's see. I don't know if that was blurry. There you go. All right. Rusty Royale. Rye, Ryle. Hmm. Oh, Rusty. That's a pretty cool nickname. I don't know if you want to name your kid Rusty, but that's interesting. Ponca City, Oklahoma. I guess that makes sense. In Oklahoma, it's probably all right. Cowboy Country. Justin Sellers. Perhaps not the best shot of him. A little dark. And he's Huntington Beach, California. Beach Bum. Hey, what's this about the Cubs there? Yeah, wow. Played in Oakland and the Cubs and Dodgers, huh? So that's interesting. Extending his career playing Triple A, maybe. Jarrell Towels. But if you love the game, keep playing, I say. If you can still play and you're the best for the team in that position or whatever, then why not? Crosby, Texas. Jarrell Towles. Yeah, yeah, I used to know a girl with that last name. Wonder whatever happened to her. Scott Van Slyke. Hey, yeah, sounds like one of the hockey players I we used to have. I think his last name was Van Slyke too. Ledoux, Missouri. All right, Josh Wall. So if any of these guys made it to the big leagues that you know of let me know but i mean I've, other than just you know playing for like one game like september call up josh wall from walker louisiana Ooh -wee. all right matt wallach i wonder if he's related to tim let's see what we see here see you know dusty baker's um kid that almost got run over during that one giants game um, he's all grown up and made his debut tonight with the, uh, or today, yesterday, I should say, Yorba Linda, California there for Matt, uh, made his debut with the Washington Nationals today at the Cubs, against the Cubs, and got a hit, got a single on his first at bat, and then got doubled off, you know, then, like at the very end of the game, and then the next guy came up hit him and himself into a double play and uh but he got a hit so congratulations to him dusty baker former cubs manager as well and uh i, I thought he was still coaching like maybe not unless he took the day off to go see his kid but it's interesting to see that little kid now playing major league baseball people can you believe we're getting that old anyhow um cubs won again that's the second sweep in a row and the Cubs the best team in baseball right now as far as like the last 15 games. Sean White, pitcher. All right, about to wrap it up here, folks. From Pullman, Washington. So, all right, last card of the set is Chris Withrow. So there you go, Chris. Austin, Texas. All right, so there you have it, people. Another set of the Albuquerque Isotopes. Uh, one or two to go, and that should be it. Uh, other than the um, AAA All-Star Game cards that when they were in the Isotopes. And a couple big cards and maybe one or two more of these sets. 
all right everybody thanks for watching i hope you appreciate or like that and uh, i appreciate i hope you don't appreciate if you do that's great i hope you like this stuff or and i appreciate you for watching old rob here at old style classics baseball cards even with my monotone voice hey everybody all right thanks for watching and um Please subscribe. I want to get to 200 before my one year anniversary here. So we got three weeks to do this in, folks. So if you can help me out, send some people my way to subscribe. Thanks.